Hi guys, welcome to Money Theory. In today's video, we're going to talk about reparations for Black Americans in California. This video is sponsored by our Patreon members. If you'd like to support our channel, you can join our Patreon. Link in the description below. This all started with the approval of a reparations task force. See this document? It is called Reparations Task Force AB3121 Budget Change Proposal. And you can see in this section where it says Budget Request Summary, the Department of Justice requests $1.5 million in general fund as a one-time payment to pay for these costs for the task force members. The task force's mission is to investigate the damages that Black Americans have faced due to discriminations from the government policies in California. And reparations are paid by the government, i.e. the taxpayers, pay the money to Black Americans and their descendants who have been victims of the racist government policies. And after all this investigations and about $1.5 million, the task force concluded that this will cost $800 billion in total. This will estimate to give about $1.2 million per person. So my first argument against this is that it is both unconstitutional and racist. So even though that Black Americans are a minority, having any preferential treatment towards any single race is racist. And that is also against the constitution of the state. In the California Constitution, Article 1, Section 31, the California state government shall not discriminate against or grant preferential treatment to any individual or group on the basis of race. Furthermore, in 1996, the voters passed Proposition 209. This prohibits discrimination or preferential treatment by state or other public entities. This is otherwise known as the Anti-Affirmative Action. If you may have heard of Proposition 16 recently, which was trying to repeal and void Proposition 209. Both of these laws are written clear as day, and we don't need any legal degree to understand it. But just to be safe, here's a legal expert opinion. I'm here live, but it's not, I'm not a cat. Maybe not that one. My next argument is that reparations will create inflation. In the past few years, America has experienced enormous amounts of inflation. One of the reasons was supply chain crisis, or the war in Ukraine causing an energy crisis. But another reason that we can't ignore was the money printing, and the money went directly to the people. This caused what we call demand pull inflation, where more money is chasing the same amount of goods. And you can see that reparations will be pretty much the same thing. More money into people's hands without creating productive value. So it's incredibly frustrating, but not surprising, why the politicians have not learned from recent years. We're hoping and looking forward to additional legislation um, that includes direct monetary payments directly to descendants of persons who were enslaved in the United States. We're also looking forward to the creation of a reparations agency that will actually help people apply for reparations. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed our video. If you'd like to support our channel, you can join our Patreon or buy me a coffee. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We also completed our financial coaching and business consulting website. Please check it out at moneytheory.net.